summary. Hello, how are you? My name is Jeremy. I'm going to be reading from this book, Leadership Northouse, <laughs> Leadership Theory and Practice by Northouse. It is a uh, chapter six, Path Goal Theory. I got a little distracted because my windows are open, but I think the heater just popped on. <laughs> Here we go. Chapter six, summary, page 136. Path Goal Theory was developed to explain how leaders motivate followers to be productive and satisfied with their work. It is a contingency approach to leadership because effectiveness depends on the fit between the leader's behavior and the characteristics of followers and the task. The basic principles of path goal theory are derived from expectancy theory, which suggests that followers will be motivated if they feel competent, if they think their efforts will be rewarded, and if they find the payoff for their work valuable. A leader can help followers by selecting a style of leadership, directive, supportive, participative, or achievement-oriented that provides what is missing for followers in a particular work setting. In simple terms, it is the leader's responsibility to help followers reach their goals by directing, guiding, and coaching them along the way. Path Goal Theory offers a large set of predictions for how a leader's style interacts with followers' needs and the nature of the task. Among other things, it predicts that directive leadership is effective with ambiguous tasks, that supportive leadership is effective for repeti <laughs> repetitive tasks, task repetition that participative leadership is effective when tasks are unclear and followers are autonomous and that achievement oriented leadership is effective for challenging tasks. Path goal theory has three major strengths. First, it provides a theoretical framework that is useful for understanding how various styles of leadership affect the productivity and satisfaction of followers. Second, path goal theory is unique in that it integrates the motivational the motivation principles of expectancy theory into a theory of leadership third it provides a practical model that underscores the important ways in which leaders help followers on the negative side several criticisms can be leveled at path goal theory first the scope of path goal theory encompasses so many interrelated sets of assumptions that it is hard to use this theory in a given organizational setting. Second, research find findings to date do not support a full and consistent picture of the claims of the theory. Third, path goal theory does not account for gender differences in how leadership is enacted or perceived. The theory also assumes that leaders have the skills to allow them to switch between various leadership behaviors needed by different followers and it assumes that leader behavior is the primary means to motivate followers. Also, path goal theory does not show in a clear way how leader behaviors directly affect follower motivational levels. Lastly, path goal theory is predominantly leader oriented and fails to recognize the interactional nature of leadership. It does not promote follower involvement in the leadership process. All right, that's chapter six, Path Goal Theory. That is the summary, page 136. See ya.